Yes, good luck with that. Now, my next guest had reached absolute rock bottom after living rough for several years and was battling a serious drug addiction when a chance encounter changed everything. In 2007, James Bowen had finally come off the streets and was getting himself clean when he found a stray cat hiding in his building. He was injured and James spent the only money he had left to help him. He named the cat Bob and they began busking together, forming a firm friendship. Their incredible story was turned into a best-selling book written by James and saw them find fans around the world. And I'm pleased to say that James and Bob are here now. Good to see you. Bob's just checking Hello. us all out. Bob, come here, Bob. Come am I, I'm come a big here. cat fan, actually. Am I allowed to give him a little stroke? You can give him a little stretch on the top of the head, yeah. OK, there we go. He's, so, uh, yeah, he's investigating because, yes, it's all strange smells to him. So Just checking it all out. Good boy. As long as he's with Dad, he's with happy. You, yeah. you can if he wants you to. You want to come and sit on my lap? That makes him a little bit settled. No. Oh, yeah, I, think, I think he'll be there. I think he'll be fine there. Okay. Bob, do you want to give me a high five? Hey. <gasps> Do you want a num num? I want to give me a high five, but I'm scared that a cat will leave sit. me hanging on national television. Why don't you so sit down? There you go. You want to give me a high five? Come on. High five. Oh, oh no, he doesn't want to do it. He's, he's, I think he's a bit. Leave him be to get sorted while we chat yes, about him. He's well, a legend he's, uh, he's because good. of the story that you told about him. And you have a new book out, a third book. Mm -hmm. Could did you could you ever have believed a few years ago that you'd be sitting here on a three book deal with the success and, and the love that's coming towards you? Well, yeah, I mean it's incredible the 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 three autobiographies that I've written. This third one, obviously, it's uh, it delves into the last Christmas that Bob and I had before everything changed uh, back in 2010, and um, it's. You know, when the first, when when my agent approached me back uh, way back then, you know, and she said, "Would you like to write the story of you and Bob?" Because we'd been featured in the Islington Tribune by um, um, a local journalist called Peter Green. It um, we, she she approached me, and I just thought it was another crazy person with some crazy idea. Because I I'm a uh, I was a big issue vendor or busker, whatever the day took me to be. Um, and people always come up to crazy ideas and I just sort of brush it off and then the next thing I know I'm being put in contact with an agent, uh, I mean, uh, for working and, and I'm writing are. the book, yeah, and, and now 2012, we're nearly in 2015. Uh, the first book has been published in 35 languages at least. Uh, so the first book has sold over a million copies in the UK. Mm. And I wrote a sequel uh, because there was so much demand for it. And I felt, you know, maybe if people should understand, like, the Christmas for people mm. that, like, Bob and myself and other homeless people and animals have to kind of experience but from my perspective obviously because uh, I can't relate from anybody else's so you know it's how I, how I dealt Felt. with it you know mm -hmm. and, and and how he helped me get through it. I mean I know that it's already doing very well uh, your, your third book as all the others have but for people who haven't read them I mean I suppose it's in a nutshell did he save you really? <sighs> we saved each other I think it's, it's kismet. It, it, it really is kismet. He uh, he turned up when I needed him. It was it, it was that moment in my life where everything had to change. And you and started caring for him, which I guess helped you to start caring about yourself. Well, yes. I I, I was uh, I was on a methadone program for that, and um, I was. Uh, slowly getting clean but he gave me that extra determination to finally you know kick the habit quite literally uh, they don't call it kicking the habit for nothing because it is quite a painful experience having to go through the final withdrawals I can but um he he gave me he gave me that extra encouragement and when I, when at sometimes when you're going through the withdrawals you want to be left alone he would he would leave me alone but when he when he knew i needed a bit of comfort he was there so he really was you know i think we we are bond bob and i we are bonded you know Hello. Mm.
you know. He's a very special well, boy, aren't you, Bob? Mm -hmm. And it looks like your story might even be made into a movie now. Well, it's uh, it's been brought up. The option has been brought up. We're just uh, we're just waiting to see what happens. Um, mm. It'd be nice to see it for Christmas next year, wouldn't it? It really, really would. Look, it's brilliant, Bob. Thanks for your patience with me. He's Bob, come his... on, you're going to give me a high five. Give Aww. me a high five. Come on, high five. Thank you. Yeah, good boy, Bob. I'm not going to ask him to do it for me because he's wagging his tail, as many of my guests. Give him a little have. scratch on the so top. So I don't want to push my lap. Can I? D oh, there you go. There you go. You Thanks very Put much. Do you like it? There I'll give go. him a little nod. There we go. Well, Bob has his treat. I'll tell you about what's coming up.